a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. My name is Awan Ali, and the title for today's lesson is the Pre-Advent Judgment. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for another beautiful day where you have spared our lives once again so that we can go forward and be great persons. Lord, as we come to a close with our quarterly, I ask that you help us to apply what we have learned. And as we go into a new lesson for today, help us, Lord, to understand what it is trying to say to us so that we can share it with others and become better individuals. Please forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, the concept of judgment before the return of Christ is what we call the pre-advent judgment. So, advent means second return, and pre indicates something will be happening before a certain event. So we have the pre-advent judgment, which is the judgment before Christ returns. And we can find this in many places in scripture. Now, some verses that you can read to have a better idea of the pre-advent judgment is Daniel 7, verse 9 to 14, Matthew 22, verse 1 to 14, Revelation 11, verse 1, 18 and 19, as well as Revelation 14, verse 6 and 7. Now, the concept of the pre-advent investigative judgment of God's people is grounded in three basic Bible teachings, and we are going to take a look at them. The first one is the notion that all the dead, whether they are righteous or unrighteous, they will remain unconscious in their graves until the final judgment. And we can find this in John 5 verse 29, which says, Truly, truly, I say unto you, an hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will rise up. For just as the Father has life in himself, even so he gave to the Son also to have life in himself. And he gave him authority to execute this judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this horror. Do not marvel when it is coming, in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. And they will come forth, those who did the good deeds to a resurrection of life, and those who committed evil deeds to a resurrection of doom. So here we can see that persons will be lying unconscious in the grave until the final judgment calls, which will determine if they will be going to a resurrection of life or a resurrection of doom. Now the second principle is the existence of a universal judgment of all human beings. And we can find this in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10, as well as Revelation 20 verses 11 to 13. Now, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10 says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may be recompensated for his deeds in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. So once again, we are informed of a universal judgment where persons will be judged based on their deeds, whether it was good or bad. So everyone will be facing this judgment. And the third notion is the fact that the first resurrection will be blessed will be the blessed word for the righteous, while the second resurrection will be the eternal death for the wicked. And we can find this in John 5, verse 28 and 29, Revelation 20, verse 46, as well as 12 to 15. So what this means is that if all human beings will be judged, they should be judged prior to the resurrection. Because let's think about it. If we will be rising on the judgment day, if we'll be rising on resurrection day when Jesus returns, and when we rise, we will go to heaven or we will, if we're in the first resurrection, we'll be going to heaven to stay with our Lord. And if we're in the second resurrection, it would indicate that we have been found guilty of not repenting. Then this simply indicates that a judgment would have occurred before this day. Because how is it that we would rise up to know our destined fates if a judgment had not occurred before? So this indicates that we have been judged before the resurrection. So, in Matthew 22, verse 1 to 14, Jesus also spoke of an investigation of the wedding guest before the wedding is actually started. So, before the wedding started and the celebration got going, the investigation happened before. Also, in the book of Revelation, the pre-advent investigative judgment is referred to in the task of measuring those who worship in the temple of God and in the announcement that the judgment of his Lord is come. So with all of this information that we have about the pre-advent judgment, resurrection, and we all have interpreted a judgment, 
when Christ returns, how is it that you, we, you and I, can prepare ourselves for the judgment so that when Christ returns, we will find ourselves in the first resurrection? So on that note, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to say thank you once again for your grace and your mercies towards us. Lord, thank you so much for continuously, for giving us, Lord, giving us a chance to repent so that we can have a chance to be with you one day. Help us, Lord, to remember that all our actions and deeds, they will be one day judged, whether they are good or bad. So help us, Lord, to make the right decisions so that we can be positive impacts for you. I ask that you be with every viewer, help them, Lord, in their daily proceedings and with all the struggles that they face. Please forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for joining me today for this exciting episode of Alpha. And please do join tomorrow for another exciting episode where we continue to learn about the judgment. Until then, God bless. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.